welcome to my channel today we are going to paint two pomegranates one is at the front which is focused and other one is blood this is the sketch needed for this painting i start by wetting the paper at the bottom left side of the paper and on the focused pomegranate which is at the front on the on these both areas i am not wetting the paper after wetting the paper and leaving the places that i have already mentioned i start to paint the background using indigo as the paper is wet the pigment flows at the background i want the pigment to flow evenly and spread uh, beautifully at the background so i'm applying the pigment in thick consistency and i'm using uh, water spray and spray it over the pigment so that it flows freely and spread evenly in all directions using a damp brush i am collecting all the excess water that is collected around the pomegranate which is at the front you can see the brush sucks the water and after that i clean the brush by dipping it in the water and uh, making it damp by using a towel Also you can see that I have tilted the board to allow the pigment to flow downwards. Next we are painting the pomegranate which is at distant and it is blurred so i'm going to construct it layer by layer that is uh, from light color to dark color and note that my paper is still wet after finishing the first layer of light color i'm going over it with a uh, second layer with dark pigment here the water and the pigment ratio is much important to notice as the paper is wet we should use less water and more pigment to paint over the uh, wet paper i used vermilion to paint the pomegranate also i mixed the vermilion with little amount of verde and green to desaturate the red color i am lifting the pigment in that particular area to show the highlight part of the pomegranate now i am adding third layer using a uh, vermilion and my paper is still wet if you are a beginner initially it would be a uh, tough to control the flow of pigment but once you understand the uh, amount of uh, pigment and water should be carried by the brush uh, once you understand that you can control the flow of pigment that is you should limit the use of water and increase the amount of pigment while painting on the wet paper if you understand this and if you practice this you can easily paint using wet on wet technique next i'm adding a darker shade for the pomegranate for this i'm using uh, vermilion mixed with little amount of verdian green
i am adding more and more dark shade by using the mix of uh, verdian and uh, verdian green and uh, vermilion Next I am going to add shadow to the distant pomegranate. For that first I am using indigo color. The color spreads and with thick pigment of um, mixture of virian green and uh, vermilion I apply that dark pigment under the pomegranate. I forgot to press the record button uh, while painting the uh, focused friend that is the pomegranate which is at the front uh, i will explain by words i wetted the pomegranate and applied the first layer of vermilion and also indigo at the left side i covered this indigo with the dark pigment of uh, the mixture of uh, vermilion and verdian uh, leaving the reflected highlight of the pomegranate I left some white area at the right side to show the highlight and the key idea of this painting is to build layer by layer from light color to dark color. While painting the pomegranate which is at the front which is in the focus, um, the background is completely dry but for the one which is at the, for the pomegranate which is at the distant uh, we painted when the background is wet so that we can achieve the blood effect hope this video is useful if you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more watercolor painting thank you see you in another video bye bye